What's going on everybody? Elliot Ash here. We are here with a brand new series. <clears throat> this is Super Monkey Ball Deluxe and we are going into story mode. So, a little bit of a backstory on on um a little bit of a backstory here. Um somehow my save got corrupted and I lost all my data, so I had to go and re unlock almost all the levels in cha in challenge mode so I can play in practice mode. I also lost all my lives, so I was back to three lives. I made it back to like 15 because I don't, can't stand to play challenge mode or story load mode for very long. So... That's why I haven't gotten any lives. Once I get to about 40 or so lives, I'm going to jump back into expert and we're going to continue that series. So, don't worry, the Expert series will continue, just not right now. Alright, so this is going to be very different than other Monkey Ball Deluxe story mode things, because everyone really just shows the just the completion of it. No one really shows the whole the thing in full, so a little, the thing to kind of make this unique, we're going to play through, this is going to be 10 parts long. It's going to be 10 parts long, <clears throat> but in each part, we're going to sh go through each world twice. As you saw, the name of this file is 1 10. It's not really 1 10, it's 1 through 10. We're going to play the first 10 levels in here, then we're going to go into another account and do 11 through 20. And since this is the story mode, we're going to show the story. Let me turn up my TV. Bananas on this island are all for me, the great scientist, Dr. Bad Boon. People of the jungle island, if you hate me, you will starve. Hee hee. Stop it, Dr. Bad Boon. Everyone is going to hate you even more. Shut up. Shut up. You insolent monkey. Wow, the frickin' insults. If you want the bananas, you'll need to come to me. I will put all the bananas in my labyrinth. You'll need to survive my devious mazes to get them back. However, think you'll make it out alive? He, he, he. I don't know if I'm gonna stick to doing the voices like that, but hey. Dr. Bad Boon, you won't get away with this, and I'm not doing this. I might not have a whole lot of dignity, but I have enough to not do this. <laughs> Alright, let's jump straight into World 1. Wow, this slowed in. Faster than Grease Lightning. Alright, let's just jump straight into it. Turn this down a little bit. Come on. Seven's a ticket long, I remember. Boom! That's one stage done. 5396. Actually, a decent time. I've gotten a, my PB is 5405, and I got it without the little wall boost. Well, not really the wall boost, but you bounce off the wall, and right when you go off the starting platform, you can speed your time up. So, this is Diamond. I'm just gonna show you both ways to complete it. Uh, I thought I was going to get a fast track in the blue goal there. So there's that. And then there's the blue, go the green goal. You're also doing it in pretty cooler ways. Almost got this wicked score strat. If that even is the score strat. So there's that. 3992. This is Edge. In challenge mode, I have the IO world record on this stage with a 5515. Yeah. This one's a fun one to just kind of mess around on. I 
escalators. Unfortunately, there's no level called eels. There's 50 bananas on this course. Alright, well, there goes something. I'm going to see if I can try that one more time. Kind of messed up the very beginning there. That's fine. We'll grab the banana bunch. Just because. Grab a few more bananas on the way up there. Normally I go for all of them, but... This one, yeah. Just missed the time bonus. So, I like to speed things up a little bit. After you, after you reach the goal, you can hit stage select and it will count that stage as complete. So, it saves a little bit of time. Great in speedruns. This is bumpy. I hate collision detection in this stage. Because I'll go kind of slide right over you to the bumps and then it'll get the collision detection at the very last one like flying at the air right before the goal. So there's three ways just to complete this stage. I'm just gonna show you all three. You can go around here. That'll get you 50 low to mid 54s. You go backwards you can get High 54s, low 55s, depending on how fast you go. Or sometimes even middle 54s. And then here is... It's the fast one. If you bounce off the goal, you get a high 57. If you don't bounce off the goal, you'll get a 58. I, for some reason, cannot seem to tie the record to save my life. I have tried. And tried. I just can't do a wide bridge. Okay, I thought I was dying there for a second. Alright. Conveyors. A lot this stage is a lot different in story mode than it's a challenge mode for the simple fact that it has this starting platform. In fact, I've never gotten a 54 on it in my life. I've got a 54-46 on challenge mode, but I can't get a 54 on this one just because the starting platform is total bullcrap. Serpentine. This one's really fun because you get to go really fast. And you get to get a lot of bananas while you're doing it. Yeah, bananas. Everyone loves bananas. And then we have floaters. We got the fast strat. I didn't get the hit. I'm just gonna try one more time, and if I don't get it, I'm just gonna do it the normal way. Alright, well, that's not gonna happen. Alright, well, that's the thing that happened. Wait, I'm just gonna kinda skip that. Sneak peek to World 2. That's for next part. <laughs> We're gonna go back here, and this is the only time I'm gonna show this little transition. Later parts, I'll pause recording and skip there. But then this is the f second account we're gonna do. This will be 11 through 20. Skip the cutscene there. This will cover 11 through 20. So we did all of this. So we're gonna start with Tub. <clears throat> this stage is a lot of fun. To get it, to get it consistently fast, you gotta go backwards a little bit right here. I mean, you can get it without going forwards, but it's really just, it's really hit or miss. 
It's never guaranteed. <laughs> Excuse me. A couple ways you can beat this stage. One is the normal way, self-explanatory way. Let's go through the middle. Go through the go through the swirl. Let's go all the way through to you reach the other end. Really self-explanatory. There's another way to do it. You can go inside the swirl, pick up speed. Once you hit about 60 or so miles an hour. You will go flying off the stage apparently. Now if you get about 60 miles an hour, you can go flying over the other side. And then you can turn around and be thrown right at the goal. Then there's this little strat. Or you can not try not to die. Let's see. Let's see. There's that, that's actually a really good time. At least for me. What's my PB in this stage? I know it's not a PB, my PB's like a 54.8, but yeah, 54.80. And that's not using that strat. And then there's using this strat, which is very, very inconsistent, but if you hit this wall. Right there in the corner, you can get a bounce. And you can skip the entire thing, and you can get high 54s. Like that. If you do it fast, you can get high 54s, low 55s. I think the world record is a 55-25. Windy slide. There's a lot of different ways to beat this stage. I'm only going to show you a couple ways, because... They're all just kind of branches off of the other ones. So basically, there's the normal way. Take the slide like normal. I'm gonna go around here. If you do it fast enough, you can get the time bonus, but usually if you go slow around the corners like this, you won't get it, but if you gotta hit the outside like this, you can get the time bonus. I'm gonna do a little skip here and fly off the stage. Then there's a couple other ways to beat it. There's this here, or you can fly up out of here, and that'll normally get you high 50s, low 51s. But if you go just a little bit closer to the front here, alright, there's that. Closer here. You won't get as much air. If you don't get as much air, you get faster times. That would have been like a 51-4 if I hadn't hit the goal. See, you can get that amount of air time, and you can get like 52s. Then the fastest strat, the IL, is basically where you fly over here, and you bounce off of that, and holy crap, I've never gotten that bounce before. Still didn't do very well, but... I can't get the bounce in. I can't get it fast, but it'll get you mid to high 52s if you do that. Wow, that was horrible. Alright. That's why I need slide. I'm really gonna have to get moving here. Slopes. A few different ways to do it. Self-explanatory. Just start making your way down the little things. Grab bananas on the way down. Let's do that for everything. You can come over the side here. Go down here. Try to make your way down. <clears throat> There's the strat. Where you can kind of bounce off of that and into the goal. Out onto the goal platform, but yeah, there's... That gets you low 56s. The fastest strat I can do is kind of a little bit of a side, side boost there. And it'll get you 56 sixes. Um, the fastest strat is where you go over here and you gotta get hit like that, and you'll get high 56s. I'm just gonna do a normal strat here. Well, not really a normal strat, but the easiest strat. Goal. Normally I go for the 56-6 strategy. Spinning top, there's a few there's a couple ways to do this. 
the aisle strap, which I may or may or may not get here. Yeah, I, can, I don't know how to do that consistently, but basically what to do, well, I don't know how to get it at all. I've never done it at all. Basically what you have to do is you clip off that wall right there at the beginning. Well, right there at the end of the starting platform. You bounce off of that, but normally you get the little clip there at the end of the starting platform. But that'll send you flying straight up into the goal. And that'll get you, I don't even know what kind of times it gets you. Is it like 55s or 54s? Something like that. I don't remember. I'm not very familiar with that strat. Steps. A couple ways to do this. One of them's very hard. I don't know how to do it. Basically, you go up and you, if you hit that right, you can get a bounce and you can go skip that and land up here. But, I don't know how to get it. Dormant pits. A lot of bananas on this stage. There's 84 bananas. There's a banana bunch in each, in each of these pits. So you can hit the switch. You can hit the switch. I uh, get hit the freaking switch, man. And see, it all start moving around. You can help yourself with some banana punches. Just don't fall in the pits. Yeah. There's a pause button in the back. I don't know what switch is over here. Oh, good lord, it's a fast forward button. Oh, man. Yeah, I deserve that. And then on this side, I think it's a reverse button. Nope, it's fast forward again. Alright, we're just gonna get in the goal. Yeah. But then, the other way is, you know, just kind of go into the goal. Not the way I did. I go in the goal, get the little clip thing off of this, and get a decent time. You get 57s, low 57s. 57.15. Yeah. You get 5720 on that stage. That's the world record right now. Curve bridge, I hate. I've never gotten the time bonus on it before. I've gotten the frame. I've gotten the. Thing is, I've gotten the cycle skip, but I didn't. I got like a 2918 when I did it. Basically, I'm just playing this like a go kart racer, like I am. Oh, I might get the cycle skip. Yeah, boys, we in there. That is a PB, but I'm not gonna put it down because it's a story mode. Oh yeah, we got a hollow. Now there's a couple. Now there's three ways to do this. One of them, I'm not even gonna show you. That's the normal way. You know, you go forward, you go around the little tube, and you're good. The other way is it's kind of. The wall boosts go over that, you'll get high 52s. The other way is a fun way, which is. Basically. Yeah, you bounce off of that and you go flying across the thing and you'll get high 53s. And if you're very lucky, you'll even get a 54. Which is the world record of 54-0-0. Ah, you might get the bunch too if you get the wrong clip like that. But, this is a super fun strat. I've gotten a 53-90 on it. I'm just going to kind of do it the normal way. But I've gotten a 52-90 on it. No, it's just, no yeah, 53-90 on it. You can see that in the first part of my compilation. Next one's really fun. Now, there's also a few ways to beat this. Again, self-explanatory way. You go up, you hit the switch. It lowers this bridge up here. And you go around it. And you just kind of follow around the blue goal. Another fun way to get the blue goal, which is my usual way to get the blue goal when I'm having fun, is get some speed. Hit the switch, not go right over the switch. Again, not go over the switch. I'm not getting good collision detection right now. That's a problem with this game usually. That was a pretty good frame boost there. Or not frame boost, but 
Is that what it's called? I just call it wall boosts. I don't remember exactly what a frame boost is, because, you know, I'm not good at the Super Monkey Ball angle. There we go, 53 of that's pretty good time. And then there's the green goal. Let's remember to actually hit the yellow. Let's just start, so I can good times. Hit the switch here, get a little boop. Again, another good ball one. Go up here, there's a green goal here. Easy as pie. Not really easy. It's actually very hard for amateur players such as myself. I mean, really, I wouldn't really say I'm an amateur player, but you can slow down and get a good clip like this, kind of bounce off, go in there, and you can get 53s. I have a 53-50 using that strat, and it was completely out of nowhere. But, it was completely out of nowhere. Nowhere near, um, the world record of 53-70. But... Alright, I'm just gonna end this part. Oh, we're gonna see this. I'm not even gonna do the words. You can read it. Everyone's doing their best to survive. We gotta help get all the bananas back. Then we have to stop Dr. Bagboo before he causes more trouble. But, where is he now? Oh, my sweet Mimi. I am here for you. I lied. <laughs> if you marry me, I'll give back all the bananas. He he he. I lied about not reading it. Marry you? Ew. <laughs> I'd rather starve to death than marry you. Your words hurt me. But is it your fault? You must be influenced by this village. My sweet Mimi, I don't think you should live here anymore. I will sink this island. Then, my dear, you'll see how strong I am. If you won't love me, then learn to despise me. He he he. I think she already does despise him. But I don't think you'd want to say that. I don't think anyone's want to say that to his face. <clears throat> oh no, what have I done? Now he's really gone mad. <clears throat> I'll never let him sink this island. I never understood why they couldn't just use their fly ability on each of these stages. <coughs> like, hey, I guess that's the glory of, you know, video games. Or maybe they have one more. Oh, what a beautiful volcano. I'll just put this super dynamite time bomb right here. When this bomb blows up, the volcano will erupt. Poor Jungle Island is going to sink into the sea. He, he, he. The thing is, junk, uh, islands don't float. They're just raised bits of land. You can't actually sink an island. This is Dr. Baboon's airship. He must be here. Let's go. Still not saying this. So, World 2, we start getting into the advanced stages for Super Monkey Ball 2. Well, we're still kind of stuck here in the beginner stages for the other ones. I mean, a couple Monkey Ball 1 advanced stages pop up near the end. But that's all for next part. I hope you enjoyed the first part. That was World 1. World 2 will be some other time. I don't know, I'm kind of starting to get on a schedule. It'll be videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Maybe a video on Saturday, and if it's a Saturday video, it'll probably be a cubing video. And I'm probably going to do one this weekend. It'll probably be a probably 3x3 three three average of 12. Something. I do have a Rubik's Cube solve on my channel. It's the second video I ever put up. Let's go check that out if you want to see my Rubik's Cube skills. They're actually very outdated. That solve took like a minute. I'm down to below 20 seconds now. But there will be a cubing video up this Saturday. But... Until then, um, keep hanging out, stay cool, like, subscribe, comment, let me hear your words, how you think this series is going to be, hope you enjoyed, I'll catch y'all later.